Welcome to Basque Country, welcome to Bilbao. My name is Vanessa Sánchez, I'm a journalist based here. Kaixo, Vanessa Sánchez Naiz, soy periodista y presentadora. I was raised here in the Basque Country, which is a region in northern Spain. We have two official languages, everybody's supposed to speak Spanish and Basque. People in Bilbao are known because they are really proud of their city. It's probably because Bilbao has been such a wealthy city, because there were a lot of uh, iron mines here. So that made Bilbao a very wealthy city, starting in the 19th century until the big crisis of the 80s. And the city fathers started to think about the modern Bilbao, the one we can see today. And now we are taking the cable car down to Bilbao. Bilbao is actually so hilly that it needs cable cars and elevators. I took you here because we could say this is the heart of Bilbao. This is where Bilbao was born. Actually, the name of this neighborhood, the old neighborhood, is Las Siete Calles, which means the seven streets. These were the first seven streets of Bilbao. As in the old times, there is still a big commercial activity right now. The impact of the Guggenheim Museum was huge. This museum put Bilbao on the world map. But of course Bilbao has some other important museums like this one. We are in the Bilbao Museum of Fine Arts. It's one of my favorite museums in town. It has an important collection starting from the 13th century until the 21st century. And it has the most important Basque art collection in the world. Jorge Oteiza and Eduardo Chillida, they are two of our most international artists in the Basque Country. We can see here their artworks. They were big rivals, but they had the same inspiration, the same obsession, which is the emptiness. Iron is a basic material in Basque culture, not just for our economy, but also for our artists. These pieces are miniatures of artworks we can see in different towns and cities in the Basque country. Since 19th century, Bilbao has been a very important mining spot. We can see a part of it in this restaurant. The name of this restaurant is Mina, which is mine. There was iron here at this place. Actually, this house is an old house and miners used to live in this building. It has one Michelin star. At the moment, they make new innovative Basque cuisine, but it's not the only Basque restaurant that has Michelin stars because they are in the whole Basque country. We have 19 Michelin star restaurants. So we can say that Basque sky is full of Michelin stars. Tonight, I'm here with my friend Arantxa because we want to celebrate something special. So it's a perfect place. One of the reasons it is so special eating in this kind of restaurant that you have the feeling you're eating an art piece. We don't just eat with our mouth and our stomach. We are eating with our eyes at the same time. Today I'm going to show you the Basque Country and we're going to start our trip here. We are entering the hanging bridge of Bilbao. It's the entrance of Bilbao coming from the sea and UNESCO declared it World Heritage Monument in 2006. Oh, we're going. Well, 
there are many nice beaches around half an hour away from Bilbao. This is one of them. You can come here, suntan, swim, surf. There are many possibilities. I love to come here right after my work because it's half an hour away from Bilbao. I think that we Basques feel very privileged because we live here. <laughs> The Basque coast is not just made of beaches and trails. Here you have San Juan de Castelugache. We could say that it's one of the jewels of Basque coast. It's a rock with a chapel from the 10th century on the top. There are many superstitions linked to San Juan de Castelugache, and one of those says that uh, once you get to the top and you ring three times the bell of the chapel, you will be granted the wish you made on the way to the top. I grew up near that mountain there. It's called Ulalait, <laughs> and I love it. It's my mountain, it's my family's mountain. And when I look at it, I'm not asking for anything else. I feel very powerful and I really need to be here quite often. You can climb here, you can hike, I see a lot of animals. It's very calm, it's like, I feel I could fall asleep here, take a little nap, take a little siesta under the sun. You can really hear the silence, the wind, and uh, the sun and the mountain talking to you. But now it's time to meet some friends. We are very hungry and thirsty. So let me take you to the perfect place. It's called a Desma Bar and pinchos over there are very, very good. Good ham, good potato omelette. Let's go for it. 